Right, basically, once again, I'm making a video of all of my big transformers. Well, I say big, mainly high voltage transformers. Um, first thing I want to do is say thanks to Vicky, my partner, for getting them all out for me again. Because I can't actually get them out myself because they're too heavy and with my back being how it is. Being a pain in the ass that is, I can't get them out. Um, I'll make another video because the last one somehow got corrupt. I have no idea how, but it seemed to disappear off my channel. Um, so yeah, basically, I have a couple more since last time I made the video. Um, being this one here, which if you compare it to a normal MOT, it's quite a bit bigger. And that one is thanks to Ant. And also, got this one here, another MOT, which is also thanks to Ant. Ant doesn't particularly like him. He likes his high voltage transformers, but he can get MOTs all day, every day. You're lucky, Git. Um, but anyway, this is my MOTs. I basically got, got my two big ones. These are all the rest. I, I don't know what size these big ones are, if I'm being honest. I have no idea. Um, all the rest are between 750 watt and 900 watt. Um, I probably should have written down on top of them what size microwave they come out of, but didn't think of that at the time. So I've got that one. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight MOTs and one rewound for high current which you can probably see took a bit of a melting on that wire on the uh, secondary there but yeah that was from a set of jump leads I used that wire some pretty thick jump leads but probably could have done with a bit better um got my ZVS in there which you've all seen before oh there's my power unit for running it uh, then I go into neon sign transformers. That's where we start to struggle. I can't move things. Got my 10 kV one. I'll put the right on so you can see that. 10 kV. Uh, 50 to 65 milliamp. I've uh, got another one there, which is 5. It's a 5 kV, and if you put the two together. Tell the size difference. Quite a big difference, but that's a uh, 5 kV at 25 to 35 milliamps. And then I've got another NST in a steel case, which is 10 kV at 50 milliamps. I don't know if you can get that. Just try and focus it in on the 50. Yeah, 50 milliamps. Um, I've got another transformer in here, which is tiny, but it's actually 2,000 volts, so it was, an oscill it was from an oscilloscope, so I was told when I bought it, but I won it on eBay for like two quid or something, but that's a pretty old, it's got, sorry about the video, and it's got two cores, um, yeah, as you can see, that's, that's quite an old one. Uh, is just nice to have in the collection. I don't know why. I think it's a bit of a an obsession once you start collecting high voltage stuff. But if you see one and it's going cheap, you've got to have it. So I'll put that away. Sorry about the uh, the messy camera work, but I'm sure you've all seen worse. Um, got a couple of ignition coils. Obviously got a four pot coil there. Old type single one there. Um, don't really do much with those. I use that one for my, um, use this one for ignition from a spud cannon or spud gun, whatever you want to call them. Got some high voltage ignition for wheel burners, things like that. Um, I don't know if I can get a close up on that or not. It should focus in. I have to excuse my shaky hand, I'm well nervous, I always am, but I don't think that'll ever change, to be honest. Um, and then, 
That one there is just an isolation transformer. Bit of safety, I thought, yeah, you know, better, better have at some point a bit of safety going on. Well, can't really complain at having safety, can you? At least I try anyway. Um, and then here, I'll try and focus it again. Got some flybacks. Got some very large ones. Running down to some fairly small ones. But they're all uh, either been ripped out of tellies, donated to me, and it's given me a few. Um, as you can probably remember in the surprise box that I got from him, um, there was a few in there, and he gave me that one, which is a pretty huge one. Um, when he came down to visit. So yeah, there's those. Um, I mean, I could go on all day with flybacks. I haven't got quite the collection uh, that Ant's got, but unfortunately I don't have scrap guards around here, which is uh, a bit of a shame. But there again, if I did, I think I might be in a bit of trouble from the, from the messes. As I say, I have more than, uh, more than, well, I probably have a good, 80% of our bedroom, but a couple of um, inverters and microwaves, which also Anne gave me when he was down just to sort of fiddle with. Um, uh, yeah, we've got also in here more flybacks, brand new in the box. Um, got my transformer oil there, waiting for my x ray. My plastic actually turned up this morning, so hopefully soon-ish. Uh, I've got the glue, I've got all the bits I need except for the screws to screw the top down. Um, but again, being being with how I am, sometimes I can get out of bed, sometimes I can't get out of bed, so unfortunately it just has to wait. I've got all those, which is for... Uh, don't look at that, sorry. <laughs> I'm swearing with Maplin. I needed some, I was going past, what do you do? Um, yeah, I've got some, they're called um, feed-through insulators, um, which I'm going to be using on my x-ray uh, X-ray transformer. And my partner worries about me a lot, as you probably understand, which, you know, you would do. So, I've actually bought myself a key switch that, sorry, you can't see that. I can't see what I'm doing. Um, basically, key won't come out when it's turned on, so hang key around your neck, save me from dying, hopefully. But I say hopefully, I better bloody do. Don't really want to die, but you know. Um, and also, just for a bit of peace of mind, for when I have got a transformer up and running, my X-ray transformer that is, I've also got a stop switch. But, I'm not going to say too much, um, I've got a project box, which half of it is down there, but it's just because I've stuck the stuff in that I plan on using um, for my x-ray transformer. Got a valve there, screwing valve, which is going to be so I can get a vacuum on it. Um, timer, 240 volt timer. In this box, I will be having a remote control system. The only thing I'm not sure about is whether the RF from the transformer running is going to play havoc with the um, with the remote system. These are um, some heat sinks with some uh, what do you call it solid state relays. I've got a couple of 40 amp solid state relays, which I'm going to run from uh, hopefully um, the remote control system but as I say it might not end up working very well because the RF might interfere yeah, might I say might it probably bloody will just to be a pain in the ass but it may interfere with um, interfere with the signal so that might not work but even if it doesn't work I will just get rid of the high voltage part of it and I have low voltage 
switches in a lead or in a case sorry in a project in a smaller project box on a lead so that I don't have to be anywhere near it when I'm turning it on. Um, I think that's probably about it. The only other thing I've got is these capacitors which I plan on using for power factor correction um, and possibly as an inductive ballast. I've been doing a lot of reading about inductive ballast just lately. Um, it doesn't seem to be too much on them. Um, there is some on the, on, I don't know what it is, it's one of the main high voltage forums. Um, and people are using them for x-ray machines, but they don't seem to be the best way to go. So I'm probably going to end up using, yep, you guessed it, the MATs. Shorting out the um, the secondary and using those, and I'm more than likely, sort of like I've done with this one, rewind it, but I'll rewind it with a different size wire, so I can get different levels of uh, ballast, and then hopefully that way I can actually have a bit of uh, a bit of a change, like flicking between. I, I want to have it switched so I can switch my ballast but anyway that's enough of me rambling on i'm sure you probably had enough by now um if you've got any comments you know if you haven't seen my videos before um subscribe if you like them if you subscribe to me i try and check my emails even though youtube messages are appalling so i never get notifications when people subscribe to me um but i do i do try and keep up to date with it as i say but at the moment, I've been doing an awful lot of watching everybody else's videos, which is great. Um, but obviously it stops me from getting on with the stuff that I'd like to do. But unfortunately, that's just the way it has to be. So yeah, I say thanks for watching and I will look forward to watching your videos. And uh, hearing some feedback, if, you know, if there's anything you want me to try or anything really. Just you say it. If I can help with anything, I will. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching and... Uh, I will speak to you again in another video, hopefully be in my finished x-ray transformer. So, thanks for uh, watching.